In this video, I'm going to show you how you can add a gradient to text in Canva. Now, this is going to be a workaround method because as you may not know, there isn't a perfect solution to adding a gradient to text. So here's the best way you can do it. So you want to go to text, go to heading, and then type in your text. So I'll just type in here knowledge base. Once I've typed that in, I'm going to select and highlight it all. And then we'll bring the font size up a little bit. I'm also going to select the font and we'll just change it to a recently used font like this one. Okay, so now I'm just going to center this real quick and we're going to be adding a gradient to this text. Now, if you go to the text and you go to text color, you're not gonna be able to see any gradients. You're only gonna be able to see one color, which is a bit annoying, right? Like you want a gradient, but Canva doesn't let you add a gradient. So I'm gonna show you how you can get around this and how you can actually add a gradient. So you wanna first change your text to white. Now, obviously, if you've got a white background, that's going to essentially hide your text. But don't worry. Now you can go ahead and go to this search bar. Make sure you're on elements and then just search for gradient. Then it is going to show you all of the different gradients that you've got available. You can go to photos here. You can go to graphics. But really, you're just trying to find a gradient that you want to use. Now, some of these are going to be Canva Pro. So you're going to have to choose wisely here. I'm going to drag this one on because this one's quite cool, although it's not really a gradient, but it's kind of like got different elements in it. You would have to get very specific with what gradient you're looking for. For me, though, I'm easy because it's just for this video. But nonetheless, you want to go ahead and drag this gradient on. Now, with this gradient on, you want to make sure you resize it to the whole page. And what you can do now is if you click on your text, you want to make this text, you want to bring the opacity down to about 50%. So to do that, you want to click on the text, then go to the three dots. Then you want to go ahead and go to transparency and then just bring that down to around 50%. So now with that done, we want to go ahead and go and download this image and you'll see why in a second. So go to share, then go ahead and click download and download as a PNG file. Click download again. So once you've done that, you want to then open this file again and you can open this in a new document or the same document. So just drag it onto Canva. So once you've dragged on that document, I'm just going to delete the other elements. And then you want to drag on this whole document, right? So you have your text with the opacity down with the gradient in the background. So now what you need to do is you want to click on this new image that you've imported, then go to edit photo. Now you need to go to background remover. Now this only works if you're using Canva Pro. Obviously, I don't have a Canva Pro subscription right now. So I'm going to show you how you would do it without Canva Pro. But for those of you that have Canva Pro, just use this background remover tool instead. If you don't have Canva Pro, just go ahead and search for BG Remover and then just go to remove.bg. Then go ahead and upload the image that remember you downloaded from Canva. Once you've uploaded that image, it will then remove the background. And there you go. As you can see, we're starting to get this effect come alive. So you want to then download this. So now you've got the new downloaded image with the background removed. And you can kind of see how this is working now, right? Now you want to open that image. So I'm going to open it from my downloads. So I'm going to drag that on to Canva again. And now you'll notice this time when you, once you remove the background, your text will have the gradient that you chose on it. Now it is a bit faded, so we just have to spruce it up a little bit. So if you go to edit photo, you can then go ahead and go to adjust and you can just mess around with the contrast and also the brightness. So go ahead and change these until you've got it to how you need it to be. Vibrance can go up, saturation can also go up, and you can mess around with this, including the sharpness and the clarity. Obviously, you can edit this however you need to. It's gonna be different depending on what gradient you use. You can also kind of change the color of the gradient if it isn't exactly what you want with these sliders here. But nonetheless, once you're happy with your gradient, you've essentially now got a gradient on text in Canva, and that's what we were all looking for, right? So that's been a basic tutorial on how to do it. I hope that did help you out.